What's up guys, this is Josh here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how this company messed up my 2022 Tesla Model Y. Yes, the one I'm sitting in. Yes, the one that I just took delivery of and they messed it up. And I'm gonna tell you all about that experience in this video today. But before I get started, I have to give a shout out to our comment winner this week. And the winner is... Jojo! So congratulations to you. I'm gonna be reaching out to you in the coming days in order to get that Amazon gift card headed your way. And if you're looking to win a free Amazon gift card, you're in luck. Keep watching in this video and I'm gonna share with you how you can win a free Amazon gift card. So this is how this company messed up my 2022 Tesla Model Y. So last week, whenever I took delivery of this car, it had three miles on it. Believe that, it was awesome. And the car is amazing. That's all I can say so far, it is amazing. So the day after I accepted delivery for this car, I wanted to have the windows tinted because when you order the Tesla Model Y, the back windows come tinted, but the front windows have no tint on it. So I wanted to have the front windows tinted in order to match the back windows. So I ran across this company on Groupine. So they had an awesome offer on tinting your windows. So I decided to go with this company. Yeah, it was about an hour and a half away from me, but I was like, hey, I wanna take the car out on the road anyway. Whenever I got there, my appointment was at 10 o'clock in the morning. At 10, 15, no one was still there. I got there a little bit before 10. At 10, 15, I decided to call the number that was on the website for the company. I guess it was the manager or the owner or someone. They picked up and I let them know that no one was there and I had a 10 o'clock appointment they were surprised and said hold on I'm going to call someone and we're going to get someone there for you so about two minutes later the owner called me back and said that someone is on the way and they were just stuck in traffic considering that I travel about an hour and a half through traffic and they were stuck in traffic okay so anyway the person that was going to be working on the car they got there roughly about 10 35 they took the car back time I got there and I saw a little bit that they were struggling trying to figure out how the Tesla work and that should have been a red flag or well the first red flag should have been that they were 35 minutes late um so they eventually got the car in the back and everything was going well so I thought so at the end of my appointment the manager called me out to the car so I went out there and I saw in his eyes that something wasn't right how about this? The employee that was working on my car is standing there in tears. So at this point, I'm like, what's going on? What's like, what's really happening? So the manager said that there was an issue whenever they were tinting the windows. And what happened was that when they were torching and applying heat to the window, that the person torched as well the trim on my window. They melted the leather on my door. So at this point, I'm pissed. I'm like, I didn't say anything because every other word that I would have said would have been an adjective. So I just sat there as the manager was talking, apologizing, saying that the windows were moving so much and they had problems with this, problems with that, but they're the professionals, go figure. Uh, however, they continue to go on and tint the window and the guy hung the torch on the window and as he opened the door, the heater hit the leather and it melted out a little bit. The guy worked there, kept saying, Sir, I'm sorry, sir, I'm just so sorry. It would just move it. They were trying to blame the car, but again, I just sat there and nodded. Because I didn't want to act the fool and curse anyone out because I'm saved. So I asked the manager his name. And he gave me his name and he said there was a shop down the street that they buffered leather and he was going to go and set me up with an appointment and they were going to cover everything. So after a few days, I guess that after they torched like the inside of my car, that they did not 
finish the job because although the window was moving a little bit here and there, a little bit here and there, I start hearing a lot of crinkling, but they said that they worked on it to the point that it should be fine at the bottom. So eventually I was like, I don't like this. It doesn't feel right. So I took a box cutter and I took the razor and I went across the window and I went across the window and I was able to just try my best to make a straight line, which it didn't really pan out that way. You can look at the picture here on the screen now and you can see where it was very jaggy, but that's how it was crinkling so bad. And whenever I pulled it out, there was a big roll of tent. It's like they just pushed it all down there and just left it. So just wanted to share that experience with you. If you decide to get your window tinted with a Tesla, make sure that you go to a company, not because they're on Groupine, but a company that has great reviews and also let them know up front that with your Tesla, the windows do move up and down. So I do plan now to get those windows retinted, not by the same company, but I do plan to get those windows retinted. And whenever I get there, I'm just gonna go and let them know if they just wanna leave maybe a fourth of an inch or something from the bottom. But just wanted to share that experience with you. And if you want to be entered to win the Amazon gift card, which will be announced in the next video, the only thing that you have to do is subscribe to the channel, share this content with someone who you feel that will benefit from this content. And also leave a comment down below as well. Check out more videos here on your screen about all things related to your finances and your Tesla, and I will see you in the next video.